Hey everyone, today I'm gonna cook a really simple recipe for all of you guys. I just pulled into the Trader Joe's grocery store. I'm gonna go inside and grab the ingredients. Hey guys, so today I'm going to be cooking a very simple stir-fry recipe. I have ground turkey. You can also use ground chicken or ground beef. I just prefer turkey. I have cut up vegetables, which is just an Asian vegetable stir-fry. This amazing soyaki sauce that I got from Trader Joe's. It has sesame seeds in it already. Crushed cashews, along with some red pepper chili flakes, and fresh basil to all mix in. I also have these pre-made brown rice packets that you can just throw in the microwave for three to four minutes and it makes the rice for you, which I'll be throwing everything on top of. So now I'm going to start by cooking the ground turkey first.
It's like a workout, man. Turn it up a little bit. So I can tell this is heating up. It's getting pretty hot. I'm trying to be mindful to not burn myself, but to also keep the keep stirring the food around so it doesn't burn. I can always adjust the setting, but it's always important to be careful and not burn yourself while trying to cook. For those of you who are new to my channel, I'm a C4 quadriplegic, and I never cook alone. There's always someone here that can help me in case of an emergency. So I had to have a little bit of help kind of chopping this up because the meat was sticking to the pan and it was sliding around. So it's always important to have someone in the house to help you. I'm gonna turn the heat up on this and let it cook a little bit more. And once I get the turkey cooked pretty well, I'm gonna add the sauce and start cooking with the sauce. So I'll be back once the turkey's a little more cooked. For those of you who actually try cooking this, as you can see the the sauce is boiling at the bottom. It's kind of like watery. So what you want to do is cook it until the sauce almost caramelizes onto the meat. And that's when you'll get the best flavor. So I can kind of just letting it sit and marinate and cook until I can tell it's not super watery on the bottom. Okay, so as you can see, the sauce is starting to caramelize on the meat. You can see it's still a little watery at the bottom, but it's definitely getting there. I wish you guys could smell this. It smells so good. Teriyaki sauce and garlic. Now that the meat is done cooking, I'm gonna go ahead and add the vegetables. Okay, so now I kind of mix up the veggies a little bit. They're cooking. I'm going to add the basil next. Just going to grab it. I wash my hands before I, I'm doing this. Okay, so now I'm going to add the cashews. So depending on how much you like cashews and how much you like red pepper chili flakes, you can put as much as you like. I like cashews, so I put a lot in. So I ended up taking out some of the red pepper chili flakes. I realized I put too much in. It really depends on how spicy you like your food. I'm just gonna pour what I have in here, if you can see, and it should be a good amount for this portion of food. So right now we're just waiting for the rice to cook. The meat and veggies are done cooking. I'm just keeping it on a low simmer. So once the rice is done, we can put it together. Look. Come here. Have a kiss. Oh, thank you. All right, so now the rice is done. I'm gonna turn off this stove top and serve myself a plate.
can't give Sedoni this, but I got a carrot for her. So she gets a reward for keeping me company. So I sit. Speak. <coughs> Good girl. Okay. All right, guys. So that's it for this video. Let me know in the comments below if you end up trying to make this dish and how it turns out. I'll see you all in my next video. Ready to go?